Back to the Coffee Man Show once again. My name is Edgar Loman, aka Coffee Man. I'm sitting here with the man with the plan, and y'all just don't understand, but y'all will understand after I break down who he is, what he does, and how often he does it. You a poet, and you don't a, even know it. A, he comes with the entourage. I'm telling you now, and I, I'm gonna get out of the way of greatness and let this man shine like he's always been doing prior to me meeting him as well as into our near future. Mr. Will Farrell, did I get it right? Absolutely wrong. Absolutely right. So we gonna let him tell it like it is. Welcome, Mr. Will. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me on the Coffee Man Show. My name is Will Phelps. Phelps. Yeah, right. Will Phelps, like Michael Phelps, the swimmer. You like the Olympic swimmer? Right, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's a pleasure to be here today. You know, you've interviewed um, some people that I know and I've worked with that I like a lot on your show, and uh, it's just a pleasure to be here. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I was privileged at the last minute, I flown in back in time from Vegas, and I got a call from Mr. Darius Blackman. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about a red carpet event and blew my mind. I'm, I'm, getting, a, I'm getting information that I have a caller on the line. Uh, caller, are you there? Michael. Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Absolutely. Who am I speaking with? Uh, J. Mark Fitzpatrick from Always Plumbing. From who's plumbing? Always plumbing. Always Not sometime plumbing? plumbing. Not right. sometime plumbing. Okay. Always. Well, let me ask you, can you pull a permit? <laughs> uh, for sure. For sure I can. Okay, we're going to talk. Make sure you lock my number in. I'm a master plumber. We are supposed to always right. be networking. Now, that's can you why, hold the line? Give me. Call. Can you hold the line? You obviously are one of the callers for the the gift that we have. It's gonna yes, be a sir. gift bag where we're gonna meet, and I'm gonna get it to you, and we're gonna go from there, right? Yes, sir. Great, great. Make sure we got his number so I can call him after the show. I want to get Will in and get Will talking about. And his name Will mean he rolling. I don't know if y'all got that part. <laughs> where there's a will, rolling. there's a way, right? Absolutely. When mm -hmm, I met right. this guy. And I came to a rare carpet event, and I was I was privileged to meet him first, and and he and he gave us some wristbands we uh that we, we and it was amazing the whole event, and it was so tr strategically placed and set up, and I kept hearing it's that's the guy that's the guy and I'm like wow I got to get him on my show because my job is to expose people that's not playing, will. To my understanding, based on my vision there, you throw one of the largest, is it yearly or six every six months, these white party red carpet events, man? Well, that particular event that you attended is the original white party, which is a party that I branded and pretty much pioneered since 1998. So you came to the 2023 version of it which was at the Rooster Tail, and at that particular event, what we did is the first annual Tubi Filmmakers Red Carpet Meet and Greet. So that's what you attended on that particular day. Okay. So, um, yeah, this white party I do every year. I do it every year in August. It started with my birthday party back in the day, and then we moved to August because in May, which is when my birthday is, we were having some, you know, some weather that wasn't the best weather. And, Matter of fact, funny thing is, on August the 6th this year, we had a typhoon. We had a rainstorm, you know what I'm saying? It right. rained super hard that day, and we still had a great turnout. So we were very blessed, very fortunate to have some good people in the house like yourself. We had Leah on uh, Vendor, and um, we had Lola er and Veronique. Every a lot of these people were part of this project, and, and that's where I met you. So when you invited me to the show, I wanted to invite some other people that I work with to the show as well so we can all get that exposure. You know, I, I do believe that all shows, all opportunities are opportunities for you to get better. 
Absolutely, absolutely, mm -hmm. man. It was, you had multiple things going on at the same time. I seen three DJs in three different locations. I seen atmosphere smooth and it didn't seem like the rain was in the way at all. Almost like the rain was playing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the rain became a part of the event for sure. Um, funny story, man. We were doing this fashion show. So the fashion show was outside in the shed, as you know. Yeah. Um, and it was raining. So what we had to do is, you know, one of my team members broke out some umbrellas. And so they were the escorting point. the models from where the models were standing outside over to the runway under the shed by umbrella so it just became a part of the event and that's what happens you know um when you do these events things happen you have to flow roll with the flow you can't let it stop you right you can't let it deter you you have to roll with the flow and that's just exactly what we did that day right and then on cue you came out i seen you over by the the dj outside popping bottles and toasted and pouring champagne and celebrating and I'm like and I held mine because I don't drink I held mine as long as I could and I gave it away to somebody that drunk theirs but it was so amazing how I don't it was like if Hutton <laughs> and, and I don't know somebody might be too young if Hutton when he speaks people listen and that's the that's what I felt well um, the one thing about the parties that we do, going back to when you said there were multiple things going on, when I come in and I do an event, I try to make it an event that people are interested, you know, wherever they are. Okay. I don't want a flat area of nothing happening anywhere in the venue. So when I go into a venue and survey it and, and say that I'm going to do an event there, I'm always thinking how can I make every area of the venue exciting for people to be at. So we do bring in multiple DJs. We do try to work with whoever's out there that wants to work with us. We try to bring in a lot of different aspects to the event. And that's hopefully what we want people to see the difference in what we do and what other people do because there are other people that have a white party or have a black party and stuff like that. We call ourselves the original because when we started doing this urbanly, there were no urban white parties. There wow. were no urban black parties like this. So we continue to, you know, try to be a leader. You know, the things that we do after we do them, people pretty much follow what we do. So we we want to continue to be a leader. We want to continue to make it exciting. And we also want to make it a part where everybody can participate. We right. want everybody to participate. Bring your talents to me. You know what I'm saying? That's right. what we want to showcase. And that's what's so great about your show. You were sitting here talking to Aaron, and Aaron started talking about, you know, um, the food place over on Six Mile, Bobby's place. Right. I know Bobby. I saw Bobby when he gutted the build. I knew what it was beforehand. I know what he has going on. And by him being here throughout, you know, because of me inviting him to the Coffee Man show, he was able to talk about this. So Bobby, in turn, got some free advertising, Absolutely. got some exposure for what he's got coming up, which Absolutely. is a great project. We, as a whole, all of us are doing great things that we can just all come together and expose each other. Wow. You never know what can happen wow. out of it, you know. So, yeah. you know, that's how, that's why you got to be ready. I mean, uh, I called Aaron today, invited him over. He was ready today. Absolutely. By him being ready today, Bobby got some exposure. Or other people will get exposure. So that's Absolutely. what this thing is all about. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm excited to be the platform that we can grow together and come together. You talk about community uh, it's funny because in order to reach one, to teach one, to reach one, we have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. I, I've, I've noticed, I've seen a couple uh, a long time celebrities there, like Martha Reeves was at the party. Martha Reeves and, was there, uh, yeah. We took pictures and things of that nature, and you, you had big uh, cameras and televisions going on, exposing other events coming up. Like you have, uh, is it Adidas versus Detroit or Detroit versus Adidas? Well, coming this weekend, I have a couple of events going on. So we'll start with Saturday, September the um, 2nd. Um, it's my annual camouflage party. That will be at a place called Good Times on the Avenue, which is a very nice mm -hmm. 
black-owned ra restaurant on uh, Livernoy on the Avenue of Fashion. It's an indoor-outdoor party. We're taking over their parking lot, creating a venue out there. So it's the parking lot pimping edition of the Camouflage Party. Boom. So that will be Saturday, September the 2nd. And then Sunday, September the 3rd, we will be right back at the Rooster Tail for what we call Adidas versus everybody. So what that means is there are a lot of Adidas – um, wears out there, they love the brand. Right. Wear your Adidas, but if you like Nike or if you like whatever else, it's you against them. Wow. Just put it on. Wow. Now back to the event of uh, Seven Ave. You, are you? You are you? You're looking for vendors. Well, we have space for vendors over there as well. It is a restaurant that has a bar and and food already. So a lot of the food vendors that we do deal with can't be there. But gotcha, the retail I vendors do can't coffee, be there. Coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. Well, we might be able to slide that coffee, Boom, tea, and hot I chocolate in there. You know what I'm saying? Able yeah. To plug in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if you wear camo, which everybody should have on camo, but when you wear camo that day to this party, you get 10 percent off your bill over there at good wow. times. And like I said, they got great food and great drinks. So it's a very, very nice place. So that's going to be Saturday, September the 2nd, and then we'll flip back the next day on the 3rd at the Rooster Tail. And if you guys know about the Rooster Tail, it's a beautiful venue right off beautiful, the waterfront. Beautiful, um, We will have multiple. This time we'll have four DJs. Um, the, uh, Gina T will be doing her fashion show. Gina T produces our fashion shows. They're very nice. So if you're a model or a designer or um, a retailer out there that wants to participate in that fashion show or any of the fashion shows that we do, please give me a call. You can reach me at 313-779-0832. Veronique Chantel, the queen executive, is now working with us. So things are going to... Boom, I just heard it. <laughs> going to get even better. You know, we need a team to make sure everything is working smoothly. I can't do it all. I try to do it all, but I can't do it all. So we're happy to have Veronique as a part of our team for this Beautiful. next event coming Beautiful. up. Yeah. I, I hear you say how long you've been in place, man, and I hear your, your calmness. Was you always this laid back and reserved? Because you're coming out of your vision. You're not coming off the cuff. You, I can't... I've been in the people business forever. Mm -hmm. You're coming out of your vision, and I can hear and see that. Is that something you always had? I've gotten better. You know, it's God's plan. Uh, I can say that I've, I've been doing entertainment and doing events since high school. I graduated in high school in 1981. That's a long time ago. Okay, I was in the military, so. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, I was. I yeah. started doing <laughs> events probably about 1978. Okay. started attending someone doing an event even before then because I had a I had an older cousin he did discos back in the 70s so right. I've always worked okay. uh, we come from a family of entrepreneurs so right. when I was 12 11 and 12 and my sister was 13 and 14 we had these cousins uh -huh. and my cut one of my cousins was he, he threw parties so we would go to the party and work for him at the party so like that guy said the actor said he got bit by the acting bug absolutely I got bit by the party bug, man. I was watching these people come, and they were dressed so nice, and they were having such a great time. I was like, this is for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so have you been an entrepreneur? That's your full-time thing, throwing parties and getting people together? Well, I'm a hairdresser by trade. They call me the press king. Okay. I do natural hair. I've had a, a hair salon on uh, West McNichols, not too far from where Bobby's place is, that, that food place, uh, uh -huh. since 1988. Wow. I press natural hair. I do natural hair. And I'm a barber as well. So. Okay, because I was wanted to press on to the side. I, yeah. I haven't decided what side, but I know you got some choices. I'm just curious. I might need to break out that glue. No, I'm just joking. I got some liquid nail in the car. I can line you up. You know what I'm saying? But, right. yeah, wow. I, I do natural hair. They call me the press king. Uh, I've been doing hair forever. I've been doing hair or cutting hair since I was in high school. So I've always been a worker. You know, okay. I've always been an entrepreneur. That's you ever how punch I, somebody's clock and work for like a nine to five type thing? I did for a little while. Um, when how did it was, feel? Was it like out of your comfort zone? <laughs> this story came up the other day. I was with my dad. My dad was like asking me, he said, how did you? I started working at Man on Man. So in, at Northland, right, right. there was a store called Man on Man. In Northland's heyday, 
everybody went to Northland because Northland was the place to be at. Absolutely. So one day my mom's out there, we out there, and she's buying me some school clothes. We're in the man on man. She says to the guy that was waiting on us, the owner, he says, uh, you need anybody to work here? You know, my mom, she's going to put me to work. <laughs> you need anybody to work here? She, he was, she was like, he's only 14, but he'll work hard. And he was like, well, he's kind of young, but bring him. I started working at Man on oh Man at 14. It just kept me, everything that has happened in my life has kept me in the entertainment realm. Like I said, when I worked at Northland, Northland was the place everybody went to for everything. You right. went there for your fashion, right. you went there for whatever it was, that was the happening place. And I was right in the middle of it because Man on oh Man was a very, very popular store. So. I started working at Man on Man. I met these guys, man, and, and they, I don't know if you guys have heard of this festival now called Sharivari. There's a festival now that happens called Sharivari. Okay. The original roots of Sharivari started from Northland with these cats that went to Mumford. I got to know them. We all in Sharivari. So that was over 30 years ago, 40 years ago, whatever. I, I, so, I, I need to uh, speak into your life. I, and I do this often based on what I'm hearing and where my heart leads me. I, I, I hear a movie in you. No, don't say nothing. Let, let, let it come out because we've never talked before, right? Right. I, I'm feeling you as a director of a movie you've been thinking about putting together. And you already have it from Alpha to Omega. You're just looking for the stars. Am I anywhere on point? No, you're not too far off. The story's okay. there. The okay. story's there. And you okay. know what? This year, once again, this guy's playing when he led... Uh, me to do this thing with the filmmakers at this last white party. Wow. It put me in a realm and it put me in contact with those people that could possibly make some of the ideas that I've had in my mind happen. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. You know, um, like the young man said, once we did this, we got bit. Right. We did this, this event with these filmmakers. It was very, very exciting to meet these people. I saw so much enthusiasm for and had such a hunger for people to get better and to better their lives that it just put me, it, that one piece that I might have been missing to make this thing happen like you were just talking about, he put me right there in the middle of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to uh, recognize a real gang sitting on the side of me right now, just on the strength of uh, where he's growing to and uh, I want to speak into his life that it's already done. Uh, just, just line the people up. They're waiting for your call. Get a title. Bef get a title to it way before you launch it. Okay. And let that precede you. Okay. I'm telling you now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a break. But I wanted you to hear from this guy sitting right to the right of me. That keep your ears open. Uh, Will, where can you be reached again? I give everybody my number. I'm old school. So okay. <laughs> you want to you want to reach Will Phelps, call me. You can call or text me at 313-779-0832. That's 313-779-0832. I do have Facebook at We Work, like working. Absolutely. We Work Will Phelps. And then I have Instagram at Will Phelps Old Faces. And, but when I run into people and they say, well, look, look let me hit you on social media. I'll be like, no, give me your number. Absolutely. Because I don't want anything to control my ability to contact some people that's out of my control. Wow. Getting that voice in that ear. And you heard it first here on the Coffee Man Show. We go on the break. Let's give it up for Will Phelps here on the Coffee Man Show. Keep it hot and keep it stirred. We'll be right back. your podcast on iHeartRadio? Yes, your podcast on iHeartRadio. What about Alexa, Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV, Android, or iPhone? Plus live TV streaming. Get your podcast seen and heard all over the world. Call 313-868-6612. Pre-recorded shows are accepted to be archived. This is a WHPR distribution platform. Download the app from the App Store. Go to WHPRTV.com. Channels available for at least 24-7 on Roku, Fire Stick, 
Stick or Apple TV. Coming soon, subscription and pay-per-view. Also. Block time is available. Get yours. Call 313-868-6612. That's 313-868-6612. Executive producer, R.J. Watkins. Program director, Henry Tyler. 107.5 FM, WGPR, HD2. Radio, we can see.com. There are two books that you must read this year. These two books were written to save your life. One book is free and the other book costs $16.95. The free book is entitled Black Women and Breast Cancer. You can download a copy of the free book at https colon slash slash touchbythelight.us. The commercial book is entitled The Prayer Jar. You can find it at https colon slash slash touchbythelight.us. Or you can send your check or money order for $16.95 plus $4 shipping and handling to Women of Courage, 160 Victor Street, Highland Park, Michigan, 48203 with your mailing address. Again, these are two powerful books. Both books were written to save your life. If you don't want to find yourself dying, leaving your young children behind to be abused, fending for themselves, you will read these books. The most wretched person in the world is a motherless child. Have you ever wanted your own TV show? Have you dreamed of showcasing your talent for the world to see? Well, now you can. Have your own TV show. You can have your own 30-minute show. Not only will you be seen in the Detroit area, but you can be viewed worldwide. For more information, call 313-868-6612. Visit our studios and receive a free TV interview to promote your business, church, or organization by appointment only. I'm Wayne County Treasurer Eric Sabri. We are living through unprecedented times. As a result, the Michigan Homeowner Assistance Fund was created. This fund, administered by the state of Michigan, is designed to help homeowners cope with pandemic-related hardships, such as delinquent property taxes. Residents may apply for up to $25,000 to help cover 2019, 2020, and 2021 tax years. Previous year's taxes must be paid in full or in a payment agreement with the treasurer's office. Eligible homeowners must have a qualified financial hardship that occurred on or after January 21st, 2020, You must currently own and occupy your home as your primary residence and must have owned it since January 21st, 2020. To see if you qualify, please visit waynemetro.org, call 313-388-9799 or email taxinfo at waynecounty.com. We're here to help. Hi, this is Lawanda. This is RJ Watkins. Coming to you to bring you some information about the number one detox in the nation, Lemon Burn. Lemon Burn helps to turn the fat into fit. It's for you, a happier, healthier you. Because you know healthy is the new beautiful. An all-natural way to improve your health. It promotes a healthy digestive system, attacks and reduces belly fat, as well as gives you energy. You need to get yours today. Call 313-868-6612. Don't forget to exercise and eat right. Hey, hey, welcome back to the Coffee Man Show. Edgar Loma, a.k.a. Coffee Man. Stirring it up, shaking and moving, moving and shaking, making sure that the information is translated well enough to get your ear to hear what's coming up next here on the Coffee Man Show. I sit next to me a brother named Jerry that I met over on Linwood and Boston. I'm over there. I'm a master plumber by trade. I take a break out of this building. I go up to the corner, I see this awesome food truck, and I say, what you got going on? It's been heaven ever since. Every time I see him, I'll be like, give me the usual. (laughs) So without further ado, let me introduce this young man, Mr. Jerry. What's going on, man? How you doing? You all right? Great, great. Yes, sir. To my understanding, Mm -hmm. when I I met you, man, y'all was cooking it on site. Right. And making noise right there in the city of Detroit in the heartbeat, 
to where I, I don't want to get enough. Because right, if right, I right. see y'all rolling, I'm rolling up on y'all. Uh, what what are you doing? I want you to share what you do out there. Um, so pretty much we sell um, shawamas, um, soul food mainly. But um, we have like a our shawamas that we make. Um, it comes with our house-made sauce also. Um, that's the, like the main thing that most people come for. But we do have soul food. His favorite is the lamb chops, of course. Lamb chops, macaroni and cheese, and I think it's candy yams, right? Absolutely. That's what he always gets. <laughs> so, um, right, and they got it on deck in the back. Right, I'm right, not right, sharing. Right, right. I'm greedy. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, pretty much we got some of everything. Um, whatever you like, fried chicken, ribs, lamb chops. Um, we do baked salmon, depending on, you know, it's mostly the order. But every day is pretty much soul food and shawamas for the most part. Right. Now, you also, uh, uh, the name of the company, I'm thinking, wh whose birth in this is, is your mom? My mom. So, <laughs> Tina. Um, it's called Tina's Food for the Soul. Um, so, we have a catering company as well as our um, food truck. She's been in business now with the catering probably about, I want to say about eight years. Um, with the food truck, it's only been about two. Um, but it's picking up, you know. I've only, so with me, I just graduated, so I just came back home. You know, I've been helping her pretty much run it. Um, so, yeah, that's the basis of it. Um, we're located on uh, Linwood at the Sigo. It's a gas station on Linwood, 9801 Linwood to be exact. And it's been, we've been up there now for about, I'll probably say about three months now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, how you guys are picking your location, mm -hmm. is it based on, the environment or somebody calling saying, hey, y'all can post? Do you have a route that y'all yeah. run? How available are you guys as far as switching locations? Um, so we're pretty much available, but we chose that particular location because so that's where my mom, she used to also have a salon um, right there on the wood. It was called Phalanges, and then um, she went from that to cooking. Uh, and so that particular loca location was a known location, so... You know, and it's, it's a pretty popular gas station. So pretty much everybody that comes through there, either we know them or, you know, it's, it gets pretty busy over there. So for right. the most part. And, and they had something over there a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. where the park, right. whatever that school was, oh, yeah, was yeah, that yeah. Central? Uh, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, Central. It, Central it was Derby. people everywhere with, mm -hmm. I mean, food. And yeah. I don't know if it was a high school reunion. Mm -hmm. It was a it, high school reunion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. It was yeah, so many reunion. people. Mm -hmm. I just thought we was in a movement. Mm -hmm. And every time we come together, that's what it should be, some type of movement with exposure and excitement and things of that nature. Right. I'm telling you, uh, it's Trina's Food for the Soul. Tina's, Tina's, Tina's. Tina's Food T for the Soul. <laughs> T-E-N-A. T-E-N-A. Yes, sir. And, and I spoke to her, mm -hmm. and she was like, I got to be there. I got to send some food. Right, 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 right. So the Taste Fest is on. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I can't even wait. We might break the show at 2.45 yeah. instead of 3 o'clock. Yes, sir. No, but the, the, what I love about what we're doing and what we're stirring up is definitely on purpose. Right. So when I, when I hear from vendors as well as taste their food, mm -hmm. I have to put something together and let people know where they can be reached, how great their food is, and how often they can be seen and contacted. Reach me at 313-686-4817. We're going to take a break and come right back. Sure. But uh, I'm always going to be here. I'm, I'm looking for the lady caller to get these beautiful shades from the young lady that's selling glasses and apparel. Uh, and I also have other gifts for them as well. Uh, here on the Coffee Man Show, we're going to keep it hot. Boom. And keep it stirred. Put your 
podcast on iHeartRadio? Yes, your podcast on iHeartRadio. What about Alexa, Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV, Android, or iPhone? Plus live TV streaming. Get your podcast seen and heard all over the world. Call 313-868-6612. Pre-recorded shows are accepted to be archived. This is a WHPR distribution platform. Download the app from the App Store. Go to WHPRTV.com. Channels available for least 24-7 on Roku, Fire Stick, or Apple TV. Coming soon, subscription and pay-per-view. Also, Block time is available. Get yours. Call 313-868-6612. That's 313-868-6612. Executive producer, R.J. Watkins. Program director, Henry Tyler. 107.5 FM, WGPR, HD2. Radio, we can see dot com. Hi, this is Lawanda. This is RJ Watkins. Coming to you to bring you some information about the number one detox in the nation, Lemon Burn. Lemon Burn helps to turn the fat into fit. It's for you, a happier, healthier you. Because you know healthy is the new beautiful. An all-natural way to improve your health. It promotes a healthy digestive system, attacks and reduces belly fat, as well as gives you energy. You need to get yours today. Call 313-868-6612. Don't forget to exercise and eat right. Hey, hey, welcome back to the Coffee Man Show. We on a roll, so we might as well keep rolling. What I want to do is introduce to some and present to others. Y'all familiar with her, Miss Lola. Welcome to the call. Hello, 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 my brother. How you doing? Literally, my brother. Absolutely. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm so excited about what's coming up. When I seen her at the Red Carpet event a couple of weeks ago, I had to, I had to create a show just around that noise to make sure that noise was being heard. So without further ado, she got something going on that she I want to give her the privilege to share about what's getting ready to take place out here. Is it in the movie field? Man, a little bit of everything. You know okay, your sister. Okay, take it so, away, sweetheart. Basically, real briefly here. So, um, uh, okay, so Major Bob Tillman, everybody okay. can Google him. He's well known. He's um, one of the Tuskegee Airmen, and it's about uh, maybe three originals left. The okay. Top Gun. Right. Like, it's like literally they still left here. They like in their 90s. Wow. And they talking like me and you, they regular. I mean, okay. I was shocked. Like, wait a minute, they regular. I mean, they like. <laughs> I'm assuming they driving too? Uh, he's driving. Then it's one that lived here in Detroit. Um, he's almost 100. And Jesus. so he's going to be with me through Zoom. I'm going over to his house. He'll be with me through Zoom. You got one in Denver. Okay. And they're really, it, it's a big, it's a lot of stories with them. Like, I am, I was sad just to hear some of the stuff. My grandfather was, was also a paratrooper, okay. 82nd Airborne. He taught people how to jump out the planes. Okay. So them all his boys. Right. Right. Wow. So that's how I'm familiar with them. And, you know, they love me. And so every time they come here, I have a lot of food for them. I just try to lay it out. But their stories is like so, it's sad. It's, 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 it's good stories, but it's bad stories. Like, okay, the original Top Gun is brief here. Mm -hmm. They did not get the award. A black man won the award. One of the black Tuskegee Airmen won that. It was four, four original ones. Okay, so it's the two that's left. Right. So they got awarded this award, but because it was an African-American man, the Caucasian community back then did not allow that. So they took the trophy. It was a whole big event. Nobody got awarded nothing. And they hid the trophy for 50 years, and it just surfaced. It was in somebody's basement. Wow. In somebody's basement. It just surfaced. So what I'm going to do with them is I'm about to do a whole documentary because I, I also have a documentary that's um, out you know, pertaining to the death of my son uh -huh. um, and people who lose their um, children. Uh -huh. And so um, I got that going. They talking about movies. They talking about some, okay, so where's my script? Here I go, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> they ready. They ready. Wow, and they was here on um, awesome. Wednesday. And, oh, my God, it, it's some good stories. Like, they could talk, many talk about the racism. I'm like, so they was 18 years old. They going to swim in the lake. The uh, uh, the lake right there by Mexico they, at the Gulf, uh -huh. and it's right in front of a Caucasian man house. He get mad, call the police, have all of them arrested. They get out the water. They say, "You want us to come out? Come get us." They 19. <laughs> wow. I'm talking about wow. Wow. Bucking with them and all that. Wow. Get out the water. They go to jail for three days. Let them right out. 
Now, is this the movie? Is it centered around that? The movie I'm um, going to be centered around them, and they're going to do a documentary. So, wow. um, yep. So they'll be back here in a few days. You need to have them on your show because I already told them about you. <laughs> so, oh, oh, you know, I share all my stuff. I, I mean, I share. I absolutely, share. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, but I do want to say something. All these people over here. The two B people, Will's crew. <laughs> this my man right here. I've been dealing with Will for a long time. He like to help everybody. Right. You know, he gonna make sure you make you gonna make some money right with him. He right. ain't funny style. He ain't walking in front of you. He walking with you. You know, Absolutely. and I mess with Will the long way. So that's why I made sure that I was here when I got his call weeks ago and then you was calling me at the same time. Absolutely. So um but yeah, but that's the main thing. So I want you to be a part of that as well, so you know I'm be calling you. Absolutely. You know because you know we got things, you know, family reunions and stuff. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I thank God for her stepping in and popping in. I know she has a busy schedule. We get ready to do a meet and greet. Uh, you can still reach me here three one three six eight six four eight one seven. We gonna shoot to a break. We gonna come back and close it out with my family up here. God bless you guys. We're on the Coffee Man Show. We gonna keep it hot and keep it stirred. <laughs> I'm Wayne County Treasurer Eric Sabri. We are living through unprecedented times. As a result, the Michigan Homeowner Assistance Fund was created. This fund, administered by the state of Michigan, is designed to help homeowners cope with pandemic-related hardships, such as delinquent property taxes. Residents may apply for up to $25,000 to help cover 2019, 2020, and 2021 tax years. Previous year's taxes must be paid in full or in a payment agreement with the treasurer's office. Eligible homeowners must have a qualified financial hardship that occurred on or after January 21st, 2020. You must currently own and occupy your home as your primary residence and must have owned it since January 21st, 2020. To see if you qualify, please visit waynemetro.org, call 313-388-9799 or email taxinfo at waynecounty.com. We're here to help. Have you ever wanted your own TV show? Have you dreamed of showcasing your talent for the world to see? Well, now you can. Have your own TV show. You can have your own 30-minute show. Not only will you be seen in the Detroit area, but you can be viewed worldwide. For more information, call 313-868-6612. Visit our studios and receive a free TV interview to promote your business, church, or organization by appointment only. We, the people of Detroit, is dedicated to community coalition building and to the provision of resources that inform, train, and mobilize the citizens of Detroit and beyond to improve their quality of life. As a community-based grassroots organization, we, the people of Detroit, aim to inform, educate, and empower Detroit residents on imperative issues surrounding civil rights, land, water, education, and the democratic process. For more information, call 844-42-WATER, 844-42-WATER, or email wethepeopleofdetroit.com. Feel good about your future with tuition-free programs at Wayne County Community College District. Whether you want to be in healthcare, computer science, the culinary arts, digital media, or robotics and automation for the next generation of vehicles, WCCCD has you covered. A full range of programs to achieve your goals, fit your schedule, and give you all the support you need to be successful. All of it tuition-free. Now there's something to feel good about. Register today at wcccd.edu.
Hey, hey, welcome back to the Coffee Man Show. My name is Edgar Loma, a.k.a. Coffee Man. I want to thank my guests for coming out. Uh, we always doing something. And I love it because we're doing something with a purpose. And when you have a purpose, you don't really have a choice but to be driven. Uh, and and my, my purpose is to expose some people to a multitude. That's my purpose. And also inform people that might not know that the, the industry of pulling profits out of the market has been so privilegedly placed in my lap to expose others on the trading concept of pulling profits out the market. Uh, earlier today, uh, I have several Zoom calls to where we pull in anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000 out the market in a short period of time, five days a week. For any more information you guys want to hear about it, 313-686-4817. We are getting in a market that is producing $8 trillion a day, and that's some stuff a lot of people don't know that heard about the wrong information about the market because they're not getting the deep information about it. So when a person is looking at the market, you look at it from the, the banker's perspective to where when you put your money in the bank and when that bank closed, and I'm talking global banks, they take all of the money out of the banks and they trade it from country to country. And then in the morning, right before the bank opened, they put it back in. And 1% every 12 months is what you get. I mean, when you know better, you should do better based on exposing yourself to the information to make a proper decision about whether or not you want to live on the other side of the money. Because we are only the environment, our circumstance situation is based on the environment that we in. You know, I'm grateful and privileged to be exposed to a market that's given me the privilege to reach one and teach one. Every time I'm throwing something, I'm throwing something with a purpose to expose trading money. My product is money. And it's nothing like it to sit in a community. We was talking about community coming together to sit in a community to learn why and how we trade to give us the benefits. I don't know what you would do with nine to $8,000 a week. I don't know what you would do. But I would love for you to share that story when you grow that story to the level of believing that you can do it. Because I know if I could do it, <laughs> oh, my God. Are you talking about the guy sitting here that stopped going to school in the ninth grade because he heard the 10th wasn't no better? The guy that's sitting here with five children by five different women? The guy that's sitting here that is not the brightest bulb in the lamp? The guy that's sitting here with being not the sharpest knife in the drawer? That I just made a decision based on information that was given to me to stick and stay consistently looking at a trading platform that has given me privileges to hang out in cash flowing where you find me in cities and si uh, different cities, different countries, uh, based on some, uh, some tools that I was able to gain as well as be able to give back so freely, which was so given freely given to me, reach me. Yeah. Reach me, reach me long enough to get the information to make a choice. You know, we if, if we're out here hurting, I, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in there, finance is a part of that. You know, uh, money is not everything, but we know it's right up there with breathing. It's up there with breathing. That's where it is, you know, because you kind of breathe a little better, you know, when, when, I mean, when you have more money in the same month you're living in. We folk, we so comfortable to rob and Peter to pay Paul, knowing that these are disciples I'm speaking of. I robbed all 12 of them all the time to learn how to place a few trades from country to country and pull out money and pull out money to live off of and to grow off of. It's phenomenal. 
It's phenomenal. To get this information from me is easy here at 313-686-4817. I'm excited about where we're growing to. We're always going to be making some noise in the right areas. Get your ear to the ground. Reach out to some of these vendors and these people that's casting movies and looking for uh, actors and the event coming up on September 15th. Get that exposure because you got some gifts stirred up on the inside of you. You got some gifts on the inside of you that need to be exposed. And knowing that if you can vividly visualize yourself as the person you want to be and you can enthusiastically achieve your goal, it's people out here waiting to hear from you because you have some information that you have to share with somebody that you haven't met yet. So if somebody is telling you that you should be A, B, C, D, then listen to what you being, what's being told to you. Because my gifts has came from me listening to somebody else exposing my gifts to me. Yeah, I might have wanted to go into another area, but when I sat still long enough and heard where my talents were, the floodgates were open. We were born with a gift. We were set up at birth. So our, our situation, and, and let me share this. Don't let the wreckage of your past step up in your present to destroy your future. You want to make sure that you are on purpose. Do yourself a favor before you go to bed at night and place your shoes way under the bed so when you get up, you have to get on your knees. And why are you down there? Just thank the man above for giving you the privilege as well as the pleasure to see another day based on you having a last night. You've been set up. Because if greater is he, like I said earlier, if greater is he that's in me, <clears throat> where are you working from? I dare you to work from the inside out. I dare you. It's so much going on in the favor of what's showing up in our lives. We can just stop and thank God, you know, because we already know that if it was up to us, <laughs> I can already hear and feel the disaster, you know. So I'm excited. I'm grateful. Uh, I'm looking to wrap this show up. And always before I close, I like to bring my family up. I want to bring up Elizabeth. I want to bring up my son, Marquise, my number one son. I want to bring up his wife. Uh, I want to bring up Miss uh, Karen. I just want to just come on up and just gather around behind me because when we close, we also want to open eyes and impact others based on, if y'all got to kneel down to get in the face of the place, that's how it works, without falling on my chair and tipping me over because we shooting live, get in the screen of things, I'm telling you. You know, so in closing, Come on, get on over there. There we go. Hey, this is the noise. Right, see how that look? Boom. Now, we're going to close like this here. Keeping it simple. Keep it hot. And keep it stirred. Here on the Coffee Man Show, we love y'all. Boom. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.